Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial from Land Microdic Configuration Series. Today's topic is about configuring PPPoE. PPPoE point to point tunneling protocol over Ethernet used by many service providers because of its ability to use central authentication and provide extensive user management. In general, PPPoE is used to provide IP addresses to the clients based on username and password authentication. And it is advised not to use static IP address or DCP on the same interface as PPPoE. Let's go straight to the configuration. Okay, I'll open my microdic router. I have set up some basic things here like IP address, one IP address is here and then my gateway IP routes, this is my IP routes, this is the gateway address and netting service in firewall net, general source net and action mask web. So my basic setting is done. Now we will configure PPPoE server for ISP business. So we will design something similar to the ISP business model. So first we plan few bandwidth package, like we can plan 10 Mbps, 15 Mbps, 20 Mbps, 25 Mbps and 30 Mbps, five bandwidth package. Now we have to make IP address plan according to the package. Let me show you. This is my bandwidth package. This is 10 Mbps. The IP address is 10.10.0.0 slash 22. 15 Mbps 10.15.0.0 slash 22. 20 Mbps 10.20.0.0.22. 25 Mbps 10.25.0.0 slash 22. 30 Mbps is 10.30.0.0 slash 22. If anyone wants this package plan, I can send by email. Okay, we will first create IP pool now. IP pools are ranges of IP address that can be allocated automatically when we set up DCP server, but it can be created manually and used by PPOE. Log into my microdic router, click on IP and then to the pool. I'll create pool according to the bandwidth package. So click plus sign to add. The first name is 10 MB and the addresses are 10.10.0.2, 10 10.10.0.0, 10 10 Just click on here, copy it, 20 MB, 10.20. 10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 now we have created our IP pool according to the bandwidth package. Now we will use PPOE server for assigning different IP blocks IP to different clients according to their bandwidth packages. Now we will configure PPPOE server. To do this, we will go to the PPP menu and to the PPPOE server tab. Click plus sign to add. We have to set up service name here. You can give any name in the interface. Okay, here if you have your physical interfaces are bridge, then select bridge interface instead of physical interface. But I don't have bridge interface, and my LAN interface is either five. If I can show you from the GNS3, this is actually my either five interface. And tick this box restrict them one session per host other things you can keep default click apply and then okay now we'll create ppp profile ppp profiles are used by any ppp based protocols including pptp LTTP, or pppoe we're going to use this profile for our pppoe service so go to the profile tab and click plus sign to add Okay, here you can give a meaningful name of your profile. I would like to give my bandwidth package rate as different profile name. So my first profile would be 10 MB. Local address will be from the 10 MB package first IP address, which is 10.10.0.0 .10 slash 
10.1 and the remote address we can select from the pool 10 MB pool here you can select the DNS address I will just keep the Google DNS and then to the Cloudflare DNS okay few people limit bandwidth rate from profile and the limit tab the limit bandwidth in here but I don't do this as it might cause high CPU users. We will use PCQ instead. So just click apply. And then okay. I'll create another profile. Copy. 20 MB. The remote address will be 20 MB. So we call our 20 MB pool here so the user will get an IP from 20 MB pool. Click apply and okay. I'll pause the video. I will just create other profile package. Okay, we created our profile based on the bandwidth package. Now the final step in PPPoE server configuration is to create client username and password. We will do it in secret tab. Click secret tab, last line to add. Now fill in the name as username, test and the password for authentication. Test one, two, three, let's think. Service is PPPoE. And we will select this profile for 10 MB package. Okay, don't set local and remote address here as client will get IP address from IP pool we mentioned in particular profile. Click apply and okay. I have created only one user from 10 MB package just to show you how you can create user on PPPoE server. Just click apply and okay. Now we will create PCQ based on bandwidth package. So to do this, we'll go to the queues. And then to the queue types, click assign to add. Type name is 10 MB. Has PCQ. Limit rate is 10 Mbps. Limit 10,000. This is for download. As you take this destination address, right? Okay, like again. Copy it and we'll create for upload 10 MB. So select the classifier resource address. It's fine. fine. Okay. Now copy again. We will create another PCQ package. Download. Copy again. 20 MB upload. This is source address. You can configure other package as well. Now go to the simple queues. Here you can do is click plus sign to add 10 MB. Target is this one. Is your target address. You tap is the upload 10 MB and the 10 MB PS for download. So we introduce our PCQ here. Now in the maximum limit and, and the limited, the MIR and CIR, you can set a bandwidth here. There are no fixed rules to set bandwidth in MIR or CIR, but I do a simple calculation. Suppose I have 10 clients of 10 Mbps. Okay, just to show you here, 10 Mbps client, I have 10 clients. Total bandwidth of 100 Mbps. If I commit them 50% of bandwidth in peak hours, so 50% of 100 Mbps is 50 Mbps. So we will go here. TN and the entrance, we do the same. apply and then okay so you can see i set 50 mbps in mir and also in cir if you see your queue shows rate or you can see the full users in particular package then you may increase bandwidth in particular package i can create more package here just copy here type 20 mb and your ip address will be 20 Similarly, you can go for the 50 MBPS first and you introduce your 
20 Mbps PCQ. Upload and download. And okay. So this way you can create other packages as well. So that's pretty much of it. So if you have any questions, please let me know in comment section. Please do subscribe my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.